Right now at 5, caught on camera burglars crashing a car into the front window of a West Side GameStop. Oh my God. And it's probably a stolen car. This is one of three such incidents reported at Jacksonville GameStop stores over the past few days. All three burglaries happened at GameStop stores on the city's west side. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell joining us live from the store scene being smashed in that video on 103rd Street. Ann. Joy, the window here is still boarded up. There's also glass on the ground in front of the store. Now, two out of the three stores hit are back open today, including this one. But JSO says the damage done is going to cost thousands of dollars to repair. I got it, I got it, I got it. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. It looks like something straight out of Grand Theft Auto, a car being used as a battering ram. To shatter the glass front window of this West Side GameStop around 3 a.m. Sunday. You can see several people scurrying out of both of these cars. They grab what they can and hurry back to the getaway cars. Now you might be wondering how that witness was at the right place at the right time to capture that video. We asked them. They said they first witnessed an unsuccessful attempt to ram this window, possibly because it had a grate over it like this. And it's probably a stolen car. After the heist and a hasty escape. Boom, hit the other car. Bop, just did. It appears the burglars went straight to another GameStop located nearby on Normandy Boulevard. According to an incident report, witnesses from the Waffle House across the street told police a white sedan rammed this storefront with a green Kia Soul pulling up right afterward. They said four to six suspects jumped out, burglarized the place, and drove away in the Kia Soul. According to police, left behind was the white car, which turned out to be stolen. Inside, they found GameStop merchandise, a backpack, and an iPad. It's unclear how much was stolen from those two stores, but early Monday morning, burglars struck GameStop again, this time battering down the door of the Oak Leaf Town Center location and stealing about $2,600 worth of Xboxes and other merchandise. You know, and that kind of store is fairly well fortified. We turned to retired Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Supervisor Tom Hack for analysis on why GameStop might be a target. He notes the burglars seen in this video look young and amateur. You tend to think that that's more something for them and their use than you know, somebody trying to do this organized burglary ring where they're taking cell phones to sell. That kind of store obviously has those fortified entries for, for a reason. You know he probably got cut up from that glass. A series of smash and grabs <laughs> leaving damage in their wake. And according to Jaya, so at that last GameStop robbery yesterday, the suspects were seen slamming into the front of the store in a small black car. We did reach out to JSO today. A spokesperson says they can't say for sure if these three incidents are connected. They also told us no arrests have been made. Reporting live on the West Side and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Ann.